What's up everyone, Tal from the Airsoft Headquarters here. Jackson from the Airsoft Headquarters as well. And today we are doing a very brief overview over the Sig Pro Force M17 and M18. Now the M17 is a regular product that we are going to bring into the store here and has been around on the market for a couple months. The M18 is a significantly newer product of the Sig Pro Force lineup and Jackson was able to purchase this for his own collection and thus we have made some slight modifications to that orange tip, but we can at least utilize it in an overview video. Now these come from the SIG ProForce line. The SIG ProForce branch of SIG is their airsoft specific division. So any sort of uh, airsoft replicas that come from SIG are gonna have this ProForce branding on them. They also produce the Steel BB, the 177 caliber that you guys see around. Those are going to be a different branch, not part of the ProForce, and obviously they have their own real firearm replicas. So if you do visit the website, you do have to go to the air gun and then over to the Pro Force lineup. So like we do with most overview videos, we are going to go tip to butt with these. So looking at the externals of the Sig Sauer M17, uh, they do have the mandatory plastic orange tip, which we have removed here. It is a little bit more of a timely process to utilize a lot of heat and do not use boiling water. From there, it is going to be a full metal upper slide assembly with the metal slide, metal barrel, and metal recoil spring guide rod. Difference between the M17 and the M18 is that the M18 is going to have one inch taking off from the very front of that slide system. So the frame on these is actually going to be made out of a high density polymer material. So everything you see here on the frame, other than the slide release and the trigger, is going to be made of a polymer material. Uh, what is also notable to mention is that these are completely ambidextrous. Not just the slide release, but also the magazine release. Uh, it requires some disassembly, but you can add that mag release to the other side just in case you want that left-handed mag release on there as well. Mm -hmm. We are all right-hand operators, so we don't actually have one of these modeled for left-hand uh, magazine release, but there are plenty of review videos on the real firearms where they do the same takedown process as far as swapping that over. So it is a really easy and standardized process which is a great thing because these are going to be officially licensed, so they are gonna be a one-to-one -one training platform, taking the six millimeter plastic BBs, and you can utilize these with the same magazine retention, pulling from concealment within either of these sizes. So there is a big advantage to utilizing Airsoft for these. Now, one thing to mention as well with the slide construction, there is a little black piece up here with the rear sight that is attached to, that is going to be a RMR cutout. So you can use the SIG licensed uh, red dot that goes with their ProForce M17, M18 line. Uh, now in some scenarios you can buy that RMR sight separately, but you will need the mount for it as well. The red dot will not mount directly to it once you take this rear piece off. You will need to purchase the mount and the optic as well to run with this. Now, when it comes to the magazines of the M17 and the M18 specifically, uh, there are some things that we do need to go over with you. So the M17 is going to come, in some cases with the green gas, some cases with the CO2 magazine. The M17 is going to have a plus two style of extension in relation to the cosmetic look of the real firearm, and the M18 is going to have a flash compact style of magazine. Now on the green gas, magazine specifically for the M17, this is going to hold 28 rounds. That is a small little discrepancy we found across multiple sites and don't want to correct them too loudly, but you can fit 28 BBs in here. You no longer have to go with high kappa. Hear that? Well, the compact model will hold 21 rounds plus the one in the chamber. So 21 plus one, 28 plus one. Cool fact, these magazines can also be swapped from platform to platform. So if you wanted a extension or a flat flush style, those are swappable and they are cross compatible. On the market as well are going to be CO2 magazines that take the 12 grams of CO2 canisters. In our experiences, while they have been noted as being compatible, we have seen that with the M17 specifically, those will shoot 460 feet per second. While 
that is something that is compatible. We don't suggest you utilize them just due to an excessive wear and tear and obviously safety concerns when it comes to utilizing them for airsoft gameplay. When it comes to utilizing those magazines specifically for training, that's a completely different relatable note because you're not playing against other people, hopefully. Um, so we have that noted. In terms of velocity for the green gas uh, versions or and the M18 as well, uh, the green gas M17 is going to be shooting at roughly 330 FPS, and then gradually over time that's going to deplete. Uh, versus the M18, it's going to start at roughly 300 FPS and lower. Then that just all has to do with a slightly shorter inner barrel. Correct. Shorter inner barrel, less capacity of gas as well. Physics. So fun fact on the M17 and the M18 that you may miss in your instruction manual is that your spring guide rod does function as your hop-up adjustment system, which is one of the easiest that I have seen on gas blowback pistols. There's no tool required and you don't need to disassemble the slide away from the frame. Simply just lock your slide back, remove the magazine, make those adjustments left or right. On the instruction manual, it says that there are directions as far as arrows for up or down. There is not. So all you gotta do is just play with it a little bit, reinsert your magazine, take a couple test shots, and then make those adjustments again if you have to. Really solid. Um, I wish more companies would do stuff like that. Um, it just makes everything go a lot easier and smoother while on the field. Now that's it as far as the overview video itself. As far as our opinions go, um, I personally think that these are really, really solid performing pistols. Uh, all we did was utilize them in our 10 foot our chrono area, so we didn't actually get to field test these as of right now. With these being the manufacturer of VFC, uh, I have high hopes that these are going to be a very high performing and long operating platform. Um, overall, we've had very good success with VFC as a manufacturer, all of the VFC pistols. So I have very, very, very high hopes. Now, when it comes to the CO2 magazine specifically, I have certain gripes, even though I prefer the performance of CO2, the fact that the CO2 magazines are shooting that hot um, is a very negative effect. And I really hope that they can bring those velocities down. Um, they can rework it through the regulatory system on the magazine, not really something that needs to be done in the blowback unit housing. But overall, I would give this a really, really solid score, maybe an eight out of 10, if I had to give my personal 10 point score. Um, while I am a Glock guy, I could find myself running this. Yeah, same thing here. I, I myself am a VFC Glock user, really like those. Uh, that translates well to these. Uh, I would definitely give this a eight out of 10. Maybe, uh, no, I give this an out of 10. So that's what we have as far as the M17 and M18 from VFC, and we're all done here. So you guys take care, stay safe, stay positive, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Walk off. Walk off. Like every other YouTuber. Uh, okay. That's tight, but it fits. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 twenty,